Hello, my name is Scott Latham with Bristol, Tennessee City Schools. I serve as the Attendance Director and Transportation Director. Today, we're going to talk about appropriate bus conduct of students and bus expectations for behavior. The U.S. Department of Transportation agrees that school buses are the safest form of transportation for getting students to and from school. 475,000 school buses transport 25 million students, more than half of America's school children each day. Transporting our students to and from school requires rules of safe conduct. These safety rules are best remembered by using the acronym BUS. B. Be responsible. U. Use respect. S. Stay safe. B. Be responsible. Obey the bus driver's directions and rules. Ride only in your assigned seats. Keep all school supplies of personal items and backpacks, including food, drink, and gum. Provide a written request from a parent or guardian regarding alternative locations, transportations, must be signed by an administrator. Avoid excess noise. U. Use respect. Talk using appropriate tone, volume, and word choice. Report any offenses to a driver or principal. Provide assistance to peers when needed and if appropriate. Keep hands, feet, and other objects to yourself. Follow instructions of bus duty personnel and avoid confrontations. S. Stay safe. Stay focused when waiting and walking to and from the bus, 10 feet from the side of the road. Wait until the driver signals you to cross the road and check for traffic. Keep hands, feet, and objects to yourself and inside the bus. Only school appropriate items are allowed on the bus. Stay seated while in the bus or in motion. Wait until the bus comes to a full stop before attempting to enter or exit. Face the front at all times, seat to seat, and back to back. Keep aisles clear at all times. Maintain silence on the bus at railroad tracks. And the bus is an extension of the classroom and all school rules apply. One other area that we need to mention is considered the danger zone. A danger zone is the 10 feet that surrounds the bus on all sides. Never walk behind the school bus, only walk in front. In the event of an emergency that would require exiting the school bus, your bus driver may direct you to evacuate, or if the driver is incapacitated, you may have to make the decision to evacuate on your own. The following are examples of potential evacuations that may occur based on the most common school bus accidents. Front evacuation. Okay guys, we need to do an emergency evacuation out the front of the bus. I need my helpers out now. Row by row, let's go. Everyone out the front. Great job. Keep moving, one row at a time. Everyone out the front. All clear. rear evacuation. Okay guys, we're going to have to do an emergency evacuation out the rear of the bus. I need my helpers at the back door. Go ahead and open up now. One's closest to the bus, to the rear of the bus. Go ahead and start evacuating. We'll go row by row. Split evacuation. Okay guys, we have an emergency situation. We need to evacuate out the back and the front. Okay, go. Starting at row 12. Come forward. My helpers at the back door. Open up. Very good. Move slowly, deliberately. Starting row in a row in the back. Go ahead and get up and get ready to go. Row by row. All clear.
In the event the bus has rolled onto its side, roof hatches can be utilized as an exit. To open the hatch, turn the red knob and push out. Emergencies can happen at any time. That is why it's important to follow the safety rules of conduct at all times. Knowing these rules and procedures will help make sure we always have a great trip on a school bus. Thank you for doing your part in keeping school buses the safest form of transportation to and from school in America.